Corpse Party is rated M for individuals 17 and up. It contains strong language, blood and gore, partial nudity, intense violence, and sexual content. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey guys, Raven Sylvia, back with Corpse Party. Yay! And we're on to chapter 5. Yes, we shall. I just wanted to- I don't know who this is. I just wanted to lose consciousness. The deepest part of my brain had become thoroughly clouded over, and there were moments when I felt as though I could almost slip away. But the intense pain would always wrench me back to my senses before I could follow through. I would have welcomed almost- even a momentary loss of consciousness with open arms, but any sort of respite from my suffering was plainly denied me. The only possible escape was death, and death was certainly at hand, but it was taking me an eternity to reach it. I was like a shellfish removed from its shell. I knew my fate, but only the chef could make the end come, and she was savoring my torment. <laughs> no, no, no! No, no, ah! The third victim was stabbed in the left eye an intermediate, in indeterminate number of times. Ah! <laughs> well, this is lovely way to start, huh? Until her eyeball became soup-like in consistency. She was eventually just left like that, slowly bleeding to death in horrible agony. <laughs> You're a tenacious one, aren't you? <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. Somebody help me. <laughs> It'd all be over if you just die already, you know. <laughs> <laughs> there, now it's nice and mushy. Damn it. Okay, moving on. I'm sorry, I didn't get to see all the rest of that. Strangely, it was only after these mutilation mutilations had already been inflicted that the killer went back and severed the victim's tongues. Now open up and say ah. No, no, please, no! <laughs> oh, mom. Chapter 5. Yay! Oh! My, you're really shaking. What's the matter? Just now was, oh well, did something 
happen? Mm-hmm. A scream from me. I don't recall making any sound at all. Um. Come now, stand up. If you just sit here cowering, you'll we'll, we'll never find my little sister, nor your big brother. Oh, my stomach. Uh. Hmm. Is it really that bad, Yuka? Mm hmm. Interesting. Interesting. So this is what it looks like when someone holds it to the point of bursting. How pitiful. I wonder what sort of face she'd make if I forced her to go right here. God, what a creeper. Wait, pitiful. Did I say pitiful? Hmm. So, how about it? Will you live with me? Huh? What? <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I think I'll be okay on my own. I'll look for my big brother by myself. What are you saying, Yuka? I am your big brother. Uh, bye! You're my little sister. And there's simply no way out of here. Everybody is going to die. So let's continue to be brother and sister until our dying breaths, however long we may have. Ah, uh, goodbye! Bye-bye, bye-bye, bye-bye! Yuka? I wouldn't recommend going that way. Something dreadful happened downstairs just a moment ago. Huh? I'm still going, bye! Do, 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 do. Wait, candle. I was like, wait, did I just see? Yeah, I did. Let's. let's... feeling this isn't gonna be fun at all not one bit oh <coughs> that was really high-pitched I'm sorry to get away from here right now oh wait right wrong person oh uh, you you need to get away from here right now hurry but if I don't do something about your injuries you're going to die uh... I'll just apply pressure okay stay with me no, please, just go. <coughs> Kurosaki, what on earth could have Duke on earth could have done this to you? Ah! That's for not listening to your big brother, Yuka. <laughs> She's going into convulsions. How ghastly. Kazami, stop this. Kazami, 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 I'm sorry. Pardon. I should have not done more to stop you when we were kids. I'm your best friend after all. But I never filled that role very well. I never did the things I should've. 
What are you going on about? Have you really deluded yourself into thinking you're my best friend? I don't recall ever you ever setting up for me. Not even one time. Yeah, I... <coughs> I guess I really haven't been a very good friend. <laughs> well, you won't be regretting that for long. But I must say... I am rather curious about these things you should have done as my so-called best friend. Please do enlighten me. Oh, I don't know. Maybe something like this! God, that really hurt, you know? Stop blaming other people for everything, you fucking coward! <coughs> Son of a bitch. Take a good look around you, Gizami. Take, an, take a good look at who you're up against. No one is conspiring against you. We've no, we're no threat. We're your friends. <laughs> That's bullshit and you know it. You're the fucking coward, Kurosaki. senses are you Yuka oh god everything is just fine now your big brother will protect you your big brother will make sure to keep you safe uh, no what's this a key science lab it says <laughs> guess you won't be needing this anymore Kurosaki Isn't it just horrible the way these spirits kill people? You wouldn't want that to happen to you, right? Well, don't worry. I won't let them. No, I'll protect you from that horrible fate. For you see, I'll put an end to it myself. I'll snuff out that tiny, tiny life of yours. No! Big Brother! <laughs> Come on, no fair running. Wait for me. Meow. Let's save. Wait, did I not save? Or did I save with the wrong thing? Oh, I missed a click now. Accidentally. Shit. Um, okay, let's not. You go the fuck away! I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you, Yuka. Hey! Um. um oh god, that candle's at Yuka. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Be a good girl, you can come with me. How about no? Oh shit, I don't know where to go. To do. Come out, come out wherever you are. I probably missed something. Thankfully, he's moving really slowly. Good to kill you. Oh, 
I think we saved ourselves some trouble there. I'm glad I didn't go to the ghost girl. Ha ha! Ha ha! Fuck you! Yay! It's fine. I don't know where to go. Yes, ghost girl in red who likes to kill people. We shall follow you because we are a naive little girl. Come out, come out wherever you are. Now where do we go? Do we... Oh. <laughs> run, rabbit, run. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! I don't know why she helped us, but good. <laughs> Mayu, Mayu, where are you? How long have we been here? It must be the middle of the night by now. My. Am I ever thirsty? Oh, Mayu, don't you realize how very worried I am about you? Why are you holding up? How are you holding up right now, I wonder? What sort of thoughts are swimming through your mind? I don't know. She kind of... She's not holding up very well. You scare so easily, and you're such a fragile soul. You really do need me by your side. Bro, wait up! Huh? What's wrong? Not going to club today? Mm, that's a good question. What is wrong? They're holding up. They're holding auditions for the lead, you know. Oh, I know, but I just don't think I'm cut out for the role. How come? I mean, I've seen how much you want it. You've been poring over that script for the last month. Not to mention practicing lines in the gym equipment room. Y you saw that? How embarrassing. Next time, you should say something. But you were so into it. I was actually just kind of happy to see you in your element like that. Well, either way, I'm giving up on that particular goal. But why? After all that study and practice... Everyone knows the parts in our production are chosen based on popularity, not on acting talent. Mayu, you're an upright, idealistic individual. So you're probably going to think I'm a bit of a spineless coward for this. But I refuse to attend an audition when I know it won't make a bit of a difference. Aww. I truly hate it. I always made it make an effort to attend social events and put on a pleasant front. But... Well, I guess it all comes down to the fact that I'm simply not well-liked. But... I like you. You're a good actor, Sheik. You shine in the spotlight. Really shine. And you look like you're enjoying it, too. And if you hate it, but if you hate it that much, then yeah, it's really not worth it. I mean, if you have to force yourself, then you're not having any fun at all, right? And what's the point in that? <laughs> Besides, at least I get to, I got to see it. Sheik's secret Rosh Rosh Roskaldikov. Uh. Come on, we'll head out together. Oh, but how about we stop at the crepe cri crepe stand on the way back home? On our way home, doesn't that sound yummy? Chocolate bananas, man! They apparently have a new one on the menu, and I'm just itching to try it out. <laughs> Aww. Mayu. 
I'm well aware. If I'm not there for you, Mayu, it's plain to see how much danger you'll be in. That's what I've been telling myself all this time anyway. <laughs> but that's not the real reason I'm trying so hard to find you. No, nothing so noble. Every time I saw your face and heard you greet me with that shig bro, you'd always say, you were saving my life. <laughs> Please, Mayu, I need you. Please show yourself. Don't leave me all alone. Aww. Damn, just once more. I have to see that suffer the suffering of others. It's the only thing keeping me sane. Am I still sane? I am. God, I've taken so many of them. So many pictures of the dead. It's so weird. They're all real. Honest to goodness corpses. But to me, they just look like fakes. Nothing but props. Realistic ones, granted. Much more detailed and lifelike than the cheap fake bodies you see on television and in the movies. <laughs> this one is the flashiest by far. Utterly pulverized against the wall near the infirmary. Oh, absolutely breathtaking. She's been reduced to nothing more than a chaotic jumble of flesh. And not, but not long ago, all of it was connected. This was once a human being, walking and talking with a mind of her own. Should there truly be an afterlife? She must be embarrassed to show her face there, with such a hideously disfigured appearance. I'd probably feel bad for her, if she weren't a complete stranger. <laughs> huh? What's going on? If I'm receiving a phone call, then why is the blasted thing still in photo view mode? There's no message telling me who's calling either. Just a ringtone. Maybe the OS is shot. Don't look. Don't look. Huh? Please don't look at me. What? Ah! 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 I can't scream that much. Ah! The girl in the red dress, huh? I think I may have seen her. Her ghost, anyway. When I was with Seiko, in one of the dark classrooms. She was crouched down on the ground and staring right at us. I saw her too, in the shadows when Yuka and I were walking through the hall together, or hall earlier. It's like she's keeping an eye on us. We also found an old newspaper article in the nurse's office about the heavenly host kidnapping and murder case. There were photos of the four victims, and she was one of them. There's no doubt in my mind, that girl we've both seen is definitely Sachiko. But how is that possible? According to what we just saw, Sachiko wasn't killed. She survived. And if that's the case... Shouldn't she have grown up into a proper adult by now? She'd have to look older than us, at the very least. Staying behind in a place like this, in child form, with the other victims, just doesn't make a whole lot of sense, does it? <laughs> yeah, that part bothers me too. I'm guessing that shortly after the incident, though, if there's it through someone related accident or something, Sachiko lost her life as well. If we can somehow meet up with her spirit, maybe we can learn more about what happened. More than what was reported, at the very least. If it's the key to getting everyone- If it's the key to getting everyone out of here safely, I'll take my chances with this soul's curse, or whatever the hell it is. Once we find Yuka, what say we look for Sachiko as well? Okay. Though I am worried. I haven't heard Yuka's voice at all since before you found me. Yeah. Yeah. We need to find some means of getting back to the other building. Ah! Ugh, what the hell? This one feels completely different from any of the others. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, God, it's a big one. The skulls can't possibly... Ah! Naomi, are you alright? Hang on to me. Okay. Don't let go. I won't. 
Damn it, it just keeps going. Naomi, ugh. Ah, it's a silly thing. Satoshi! He's bleeding. Satoshi, Satoshi, speak to me. Are you okay? Ugh. No, Satoshi! Uh-oh. No, please don't kill me. Don't kill me, please. No. Shinazaki. Shinazaki, snap out of it. Ah. Ugh. <laughs> Shinazaki, are you alright? <laughs> Uh, it's okay. Everything's okay, okay? Come on, Shinazaki. Everything's fine. You're safe. <laughs> what the? That's what happened to me. <laughs> what was it like? What did you see? I saw the true identity of the... The murderer. Huh? That's why the damn doll wasn't enough repentance from the killer. We had the wrong person! Wait, are you telling me? You were actually there like you saw the scene of the murders? That's exactly what I'm saying. I was seeing everything through Yuki's eyes. I was bound and then I was killed. God damn it, you... Little piece of... It's not her fault. I'm the one who wanted to know. The murderer was a little girl. You remember the newspaper article Suzumoto showed us? Her photo was in it, along with her name. It's the girl in the red dress, Sachiko Shinazaki. She was listed as one of the victims, but believe me, she's no victim. What? <laughs> no, that can't be right. That's impossible. For a little girl to do something like that? How could she abduct other children her own age and keep them prisoner, no less? I could believe it if it were that monster with the hammer. He seems fully capable of kidnapping and tying up little kids any day of the week. He was just an accomplice. When these children were killed by Sachiko, the man with the hammer was in the corner of the room, quaking in fear. You can't be serious. I have no idea why he would have helped Sachiko in the first place, though. We have to tell the others, Machida and Miss Yui. Yeah, I guess. Even Naho wasn't able to find out the whole truth, and she's been there, in there longer than any of us. If we don't hurry up and tell them, they'll be dead before they ever find out. If Sachiko catches them unaware, it could all be over. We have to go back. Yuki, please. Take us back into the closed spaces. Sorry about that. We'll find a way to exercise you. And all the other spirits trapped in heavenly hosts, I swear. I wouldn't recommend that. As a result as a result of your interference, as well as interference of your friends, these spaces those spaces are in a state of critical flux right now. If I were to take you back, even if I kept this clarity of mind the whole time, I doubt I'd ever be able to bring you home again. But if we don't go back, everyone's going to die. Kishinuma, let's go, please, for our friends. Come on, for Machida. We'll go back. We're out of our minds. We'll go back. Fine, damn it, we'll go back. After all, I don't have a lot of real friends. I'd hate to lose the ones I do. What's that? What are you mumbling about? Nothing. Nothing at all. 
I was hoping I could get to see me, 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 me just once more, but I guess I'll have to put that aside. Oh, this looks different. Why is it all red? The music's kind of funky. Entry into the Empire of Japan's secret intelligence base is strictly forbidden. Expulsion to all trespassers. What? Okay. I don't get what's going on, but... I'm sorry. I really am. But I wish you the best of luck. This is something I think Satoshi and the others may need. If you find them, please give it to them for me. Marble statue. Uh, why don't you give it to them yourself? Because she's following them around the school right now. I can't get close enough. There is another statue like it though. A red one. If you find it, make sure he gets that one too. Understood. The three of us are prepared for the challenges ahead, now that our tongues have been restored. But due to our momentary awakening, the balance of these close spaces has begun to collapse. Be very, very careful. Also, remember, in order for Sachiko to feel remorse, you must appeal to her humanity. You must purify her soul. It's the only way. My mind has already come under attack, so the next time you see me, Run. She's gone. Yeah, for now. Let's just focus on finding Satoshi, Miss Yui, and the others. Though, aside from Miss Yui, the only other people we've seen so far are Sh Suzumoto and Morishige. And we explored pretty much everywhere. You sure the others are even here? Well, think about it, remember? The closed spaces? The first ghost we saw told us all about them when we got here with Miss Yui. Basically, anyone who can't find we can't find is probably in another version of this school. Which is why we never ran into them. Is there something you failed to understand? Uh, no, I, uh, yeah. But wait a minute, if that's the case, how the hell are we supposed to tell them about the murder? I mean, if we can't even find them. Yuki just told us how. She said the closed spaces are starting have started breaking down. They might that should that might mean should mean that the connections between the dimensions are changing too. So come on, let's try searching for them again, Miss Yui and everyone else. Okay, got it. For real? When I say I got it, I got it. Although if it's not just these child spirits, so many hordes of innocent if it's not those child spirits so many hordes of innocent people into the school and trapping them here until they die, then you kind of have to ask yourself, who is responsible, you know? Hmm. Was I declared or after charm? Is there anything in this room? Fine. Probably look. I wonder if something will happen if we try and go into the, uh, that closet up here. Because I thought that was kind of funny. Can we actually go into it? Doesn't look like we can. Okay. So let's leave the room. Yuka! Maybe I can hide under here. Oh, I can feel the air on my... Mm, it feels so weird. But I can't wear them wet like that. It's gross. Oh. Did you finally pee yourself? It's been nothing but earthquakes since we got here. I hope the school doesn't fall apart. Big Brother! Big Brother! <laughs> Sashiko, you leave her alone. Does anything look different to you? Very. This isn't the same school we were in before. It's a totally different heavenly host. Yeah, and it's creepy factors through the roof. 
the chill in the air, the constant dark- I didn't mean to skip that. Shit. We need to find the others and get the hell out of here. Yeah. Oh, we'll be able to place boards there, it looks like. Hmm. Okay, nothing this way. Except a candle we can't reach! Oh, hello, Bones. These are skeleton remains here. God, I, don't have to, I hope we don't have to run in through from any more ghost kids or anybody. This... Oh. Hey, Shinazaki, um... What is it? Are you hurt? You've got a whole lot of blood on your, um... Um... Posterior... <laughs> what? Are you serious? You scrape your butt on a piece of broken wood or something? Looks kind of pink. Shut the hell up already! Jeez, just look the other way for a minute! Huh? God, does that boy have no sense of shame? Damn it all! What do I have to do about this? I don't have any gym- I don't have my gym bag here. So a change of clothes is out of the question. I really don't want to meet up with Machidi and the others looking like this, though. God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! God damn it! I can't take this anymore! What? Uh, what's that? Oh my god, it's a student idea from Kisaragi Academy. Someone we know must be nearby. I wonder who it is. Ah, it's Nakashima's! No mistaking it, it's still- It's even still got the scrap of paper from the Tachiko charm. Oh, Naomi's. Shinazaki, what the hell is taking you so long? Huh? Is this someone's student ID? It's Nakashima's! She must be somewhere nearby! Nakashima! Are you there? If you are, please answer me! Nakashima! Guess she's not that nearby. Let's look for her. She can't be far. Big Brother! Um. Duh! Mm. Ah, that's hot! Yuka, honestly, who bites her sibling on the shoulder? And why are you blowing air on me? <laughs> whoosh, whoosh. <laughs> Big brother, it's time for dinner. Oh, is it that late already? I'll be right down, thanks. But next time, how about telling me rather than doing whatever it is you just did? No can do. Whatever the hell that is. Mom! Big Brother's on his way! <laughs> what a goofball. She left her door open again, too. You... cut... Ugh. Guess that was just a dream. Ugh. Ow. Oh, my head is throbbing. It's pitch black too. What happened? I remember there was a big earthquake. What's this? There's something in my hand? It's really tender. It's like some kind of meat. What the hell am I? Is he touching our boob again? Ugh. Uh. Mm. <gasps> uh! Touching her boob again. God damn it. Uh, uh, uh. Satoshi? Naomi! I'm so sorry. Please don't misunderstand. I didn't mean it! Satoshi, is your head okay? Huh? A beam fell on your head during the quake and it started bleeding. Your face is really red. I guess it must hurt. Thank you for shielding me. Uh, the thing, nothing of it, <laughs> and I'm fine. I'm not bleeding anymore, at least. You're not? Huh? Um, 
Um, this is a new voice. I don't even know if it's a guy or a girl. What should I do? Wow, this is incredible. What is this place? Oh, where are we? Deep breaths, T Taguchi. Stay calm, keep a steady hand, and don't stop filming. I don't know. I, I want every last detail to capture it on video. Don't miss even a single speck on the wall. Yes, sir. Amazing, I can't believe it worked. This is sure to get me the recognition I deserve. With this footage, with this film, the occult genre will be completely reborn. All right, let's get started. I think it's about time I began penning our third strange but true article. Experiencing this stuff in the flesh should prove a sufficient enough muse to get the words flowing. They're in the school building, aren't they? This is that tape you put in earlier, right? Yeah, the camera didn't seem to work before, though. No power, no batteries. It looks like the research footage taken by whoever it was that brought it here. Nah, this place is unbelievable. Everything you, everywhere you look, there's something written down. I don't want to die. Wow, crazy stuff. Just be careful. We don't have a lot of data on this place yet. We have no idea what might happen here. It's best not to touch anything. Yeah, you're no fun. With this such deliciously dark scenery all around us, I have to at least take in our surroundings, you know. I suppose you do. Oh boy, do I ever. I just... I just can't get it up. You think it was the right thing to do, though? Coming here without that girl, Maho. I... I <laughs> she ain't gotta be too pleased. Oh, She'll be all like, Why do you guys always do the fun stuff without me? <laughs> that sounds about right. But this is different from our previous excursions. I can't justify putting her in danger like that. Uh, very true, but she's not, she's sure not gonna see it that way. Is that uh, the, the real deal? It looks that way. A dead body, an actual dead body. This is bad, really, really bad. We gotta get out of here. Um. Shoot, I keep losing his voice. Letter uniform, it's from our era. It's new. It's, I'm sure this playthrough accounts for a whole bunch of missing children reports. And here they are, just running away. Ah, what kind of hell have we stumbled into? You're right. We're in danger here. Glad you're in agreement. Now, you should know. You said you know a way out, right? A way out? Oh yes, the way out. I forgot. I never did go over that with you. It's ah, what's wrong? What's wrong? I heard a voice, a child's voice, children's voices. Seriously, listen, listen. Can't you hear them? Where the hell are they coming from? Calm down. I'm listening, and I don't hear anything. How many voices are there? Are they boys, girls? Ah. Mr. Kabiki! Mr. Kabiki! There's that, nothing there. Right there. Just a few seconds ago. Where? There. Right over there. Ah! Hey, you! Wait! Stop! Hold up! Ugh. I alright? I'm really sorry I stepped on something and the camera. Or, and the camera. It's, is it alright? Seems to be. I, I'm, I got their voices screwed up. Uh. Ah. Taguchi, where are you going? Damn it, the tape symbol's full. Where'd he put our blanks? Guess that's the end. I wonder what this way out might be. Just what it sounds like, I imagine. Unfortunately, the recording was a bit lacking in details. The report. One second. The reporter was looking for blank tapes, though. So there's probably a follow-up after we, we join with Yuka. Let's make sure to f make sh bleh, 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 make finding that a priority. Yeah, sounds like a plan to me. 
All right, for now, let's see about getting to that second building. Ugh, guess we leave the camera. It's pretty much stuck to the TV. Not exactly ideal, since it means we'll have to come back here to watch the next tape. That's like the only TV in the school, so I don't think it's too bad. Okay, I guess we can't do anything with that, despite the fact that it's lighter than the rest. Oh! Huh. What? What's going on? The school's completely changed. Guess that wasn't just an earthquake after all. Yeah, it's like we were feeding the building ex feeling the expanding expand and contract around us. <laughs> Again. Either way, we need to get moving. Come on. Okay, wait. Hold up a second, Satoshi. Huh? I've got it splint I you've got splinters all over your back. Is that isn't that Satoshi! It's Satoshi Nakashima! Yeah, I guess the close bases really have started to break down. Come on! Right behind you, Satoshi! Nakashima! Yoshiki! Shinazaki! You're alright! Class rep! Oh, thank God! I was hoping we'd run into you! Me too! I was beginning to wonder what I'd do without you guys! Yoshiki... <laughs> Pretty sorry lot we've drawn, eh? Oh, God! Poor Sizumoto! <sighs> Shinohara... Still can't believe it. <laughs> God damn it. She was just with us a few hours ago. Smiling and laughing. Why? Why? Why is this happening to us? <laughs> At any rate, let's make sure we don't lose anyone else. In fact, considering it, consider it an order from your class rep. Shinazaki. We're going to find Miss Shishido, Moshige, and Yuka. And get the hell out of here together! Yeah, you bet we are. Remember, the murderer is Sachiko. If you run into her, you be very careful. Based on what we've been told by Naho and Yuki, if we get can get Sachiko to express remorse for her actions, then the three victims she killed will be appeased. The field around this school building will be lifted. And we should theoretically be able to get out of here and go home. Sachiko, the girl in the red dress. How do we get her to express remorse, though? That is the question. Well, what about you two? What can you tell us about this way out you mentioned? Not a lot specific. Not a lot <laughs> specifically. The reporter talked about some specific means of getting home. But he was cut off before he could explain it. He was looking for a blank tape, though, when it ended, so there's probably a continuation somewhere. Look for a label that says Kibiki Research Data. Wait, did you say Kibiki? Yeah, that's right. I think I've... Yeah, doing the four of them is hard on my... If we can figure out what sort of method he had in mind for getting out of here, we won't have to get mixed up with the ghosts and curses anymore. It seems like it'd be a lot simpler than... How did you put it? Appeasing the spirits? The problem with that is... The problem with that is, it doesn't really fix anything. Escaping by putting the spirits to rest, that's the method Naho explained to me, but I don't think it's the same as Kibiki's way out. I'm guessing Naho wants us to put a stop to this once and for all, to keep this curse from spreading any farther. If we leave things the way they are and just escape with our lives like you're suggesting, then countless innocent children are going to get pulled in here for God knows how many years to come, and they're all going to die horribly. That may be true. That may be true, but we're just high school students. How can we possibly expect us to set things right? There has to be a way to make Zachiko atone for her sins. There just has to be, and we're going to look for it. God, how can you just decide right off the bat that the plan has no chance of succeeding? Is it because you're, I'm the one who suggested it? What? No, of course not. Come on, we have to work together on this. How about the two of you, us, look for more info and Kibiki's way out, and continue searching for Yuka, of course, while you two search for Miss Yui. Sounds good. 
Once everyone's been found, we'll meet back here. Satoshi, got something for you. Huh? Don't know what it is, but the girl ghost we made friends with said to give it to you. Come on, let's go. Class rep, take care, okay? Nakashima. Hmm? Don't get too close to Machida. Huh? <sighs> this isn't the time to be fighting over a guy. Hey, Shinazaki. Hey. What is it? Don't think you look... Don't... Yeah, I don't think you look discouraged enough. Try scowling some more. Nakashima's student ID and the paper doll scrap. I forgot to give them back. We can do that later. There's no hurry. Really, things are starting to look up. This is definitely not the time to mope. I let my personal feelings cloud my judgment and spoke harshly toward a classmate for no reason. And I'm the class representative, for God's sakes. Not here, you're not. Here, you're just plain old Ayumi Shinazaki. And you were just being honest. I probably would have been just as curt with her if I were in your shoes. Seriously? Ugh, maybe. That actually makes me feel a little better. Thanks. Don't mention it. Really, though, even if we did track down Sachiko, I don't have the slightest idea how we could possibly elicit any remorse from her. Let's just try to find Miss Yui. And, and even if we have to use that way out, let's get the hell out of here. All of us. Together. You bet. You are now following multiple parties. You may only direct con directly control one party at a time, however. If you wish to switch from one party to the other, you may do so at will by stepping on one of the many pentagrams scattered throughout the school building. Okay. Who has a save point? I guess I probably have to step on it because we're going over time. I'm over 50 minutes now. Ah, damn it. We wandered the halls for a while, searching for an sign of Yuka. In doing so, we found that the path leading to the school building, the second school building, had finally opened itself back up again. You weren't kidding. A whole other wing. It's kind of terrifying. Will you be alright in there, Naomi? I mean, I'm scared too, but still. I'll be okay. I'm sure everything's going to be fine. As long as the two of us stick together, we'll manage. Yeah, I know. Yeah. As long as the two of us stick together, huh? There's that tinge of regret again, boring into my heart with like a drill. Um. You don't care about anybody's feelings but your own! Seiko's last words still echoed in my ears as if I'd only just heard them spoken. Yumi, it's alright. It's not your fault. Satoshi did everything he could to make me feel better. But it's obvious what happened. Her shoes were so neatly lined up in front of that stall. She knew what she was doing. It was clearly suicide. And I drove her to it. My angry outburst resulted in my best friend killing herself. What else could it have been? Whatever she is right wherever she is right now, Seiko. She's furious with me. She has to be. Oh, save point. Thank you. Don't worry. We'll find Yuka. I know we will. Come on. Thank you. All right. I'm gonna cut it here. This episode went really, really long. Listen to that music. That's some awesome music going on now. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. Um, so, uh, like, favorite, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!